Yo, what is up everyone? It is Animus Porn. Good morning. I'm up a little earlier than I thought I would be. And I kid you not, I had a dream. Like, put this on everything I love. Like, I am not joking. I had a dream that I got like a super rare pet. It was a pet monkey. It was like a, like, that's what the card was. It was like a pet gorilla. I kid you not, like, I had a dream and we woke up and did that dream come true? Like, I'm not making this up. It did. I know it's not a monkey. That's just what my dream was. I had a dream that I got, I got a pet monkey <laughs> or a pet gorilla. Oh man. But we did get the other lander overnight. So that makes three secret pets in less than 24 hours. Three secret pets, less than 24 hours. We got these first, back to back. And then we got the other lander. I was waiting for that. Um, I'm pretty excited. We got one, two, three shiny mythicals. Let's look at the game played. Um, when I said I got those uh, secrets in less than a day, it was less than 24 hours. Not of gameplay. But like when, when I got my first secret, that's when they all start coming. And my time played two days and 17 hours. So I guess you could say within two days, 17 hours or less than three days, I, I got them all. But I wasn't even opening in this world until you saw the video, like 18 hours. So um, I think that's really good. I'll give you an update. I do have two mythic weapons. I'm still chasing my first secret. I don't think I can uh, divine this yet. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of showcase. For me, I'm pretty happy. You can see the other lander is it is bigger than the necro portal, so I think it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, I have to hide other people's pets because it just gets a little too excessive. I told him he would be in uh, one of my next vis videos, so there's Breezy going at it. Hopefully he got some uh, secrets. Hopefully he did, but most of you guys, um, I should say, I, th this next part of the video, I'm just going to give a couple little tips that I wish I knew when I first started. Um, so the first thing is upgrades. It's so easy. And most of you guys know upgrades, but do upgrades before you rank up. Try to get as least amount of yen, I'm sorry, least amount of money, <laughs> I call it yen, least amount of money you can before you upgrade. Because once you once you ascend, uh, that's it. You're going to lose all of your power, obviously, and your coins. So just constantly work on upgrades. Uh, the main ones I would focus on is power gain first. And then there's like the crit chances. I would focus on that second. Passive quests is the next thing that I wish I knew because I didn't even start them. And let me show you what I mean. If you go look at stats, there's like a quest line. I've already completed Santa, but the first one of these you can get is the first world. So, bam, you want to talk to Santa right here. Accept his quest. And, like, when I first accepted it, I was, like, trying to kill stuff. I, I didn't even know where to find these guys. You have to wait for a blizzard. And then you can start doing these quests. You can get credit for the quest. So, once you see a blizzard, come here and just start killing as many units as you can. Turn it in. I know the second one, I think, is 100 and then there's like one where you got to go in here and defeat Santa. So that's where one is. And then it's like every two. So that was. Um, I think Demon Hill's the next one. Oh no, my bad, my bad. Polar Tundra. There's an egg quest. So if you open a whole bunch of eggs. I have to open up 100,000 eggs. This gives permanent luck. My bad, let me back up. That first quest, you get this mount. This is how you get this slay mount. I think you can... So that's how you get the mount. 
Uh, and then the next one, where's the next one at? I think I missed one. Hold on. I just woke up. I'm a little tired. No, it's not here. Underworld. I know there's one in Underworld. And then I missed one. I'll go back. This one right here. You have to get... I'm on 10,000 kills. But the first one of these... It's not as hard, obviously. And this one will get you, give you extra damage. It's like passive buff. So like the Eggmaster quest, you're going to get a luck a luck passive increase. And I didn't know this. Like, I wish I would have accepted this when I first started playing. I would have been a little bit further on, on this quest line. Let me go back real quick. Here we go. This is the one I missed. I'm tired. This one is Sword Swing. And this gives you faster sword uh, swing passive. Like you can um, attack faster. So that's really good. I have to get 2.5 million swings for this next one. So that's all four of them. A little tip I wish I knew. Except those. And then... This one's pretty obvious, but get find someone who can uh, carry you in a time trial. Go to these time trials. And then you got easy and hard. And there's you can get this quest as well. Get it before someone carries you. I know I have a demon who helps with uh, raid carries. And also C2M, he was helping yesterday. So tonight I believe we're going to do some more carries. Um, not me. I can't solo just yet. But just stay tuned. We'll do some carries. And then another one is pretty obvious. But like this whole entire video. I've been gaining the most power I possibly can on my team. So you want to use power when you don't need it. So when you look at your relics. You want to find the one with the most power. Um, this is the best one I can find. I'm still trying to find more, but you see that's the damage. You want power. So when you're AFK, you want to you want to go for power. When you can go and attack mobs with power, then you don't want to switch to damage. So I'll show you what I mean. See these paladins die. See if the warlocks die fairly quick. And let me go to the boss. So I'd probably want to switch. So you see how slow it is. My best power one is this radiating paper. 2300. Look at that. Look how much quicker. Now I can one shot these. So let me come over here. And I haven't even switched my swords yet. So you want to find like a sweet spot. So let me put my best swords on for damage. And you want to have two like two sets of weapons. And I'll kind of explain that real quick. Common weapons. You want to have your damage passes on. So I have like two icicle threes. Not the best but I'll be upgrading tiny. And then more damage. Tiny is really good because it's faster sword speed. 40% faster sword. And it has less power. But that's fine. You don't need power. So you can see that's significantly quicker. It's pretty much like a two shot. The other one was like a three shot. So this is my damage passive. When I want to kill things really quick. You're doing a quest. And your power relics aren't really cutting it. You want to switch to that. Or if you want to farm yin. Pop your... Uh, your your money if you pop your coin boost get your best damage and go so hopefully that helped some things I didn't know when I first started playing and then like right now I'm about to go back and farm like open afk open so I'm going to get my power weapons so these both have power 
And then this has the flurry one, which has faster sword swing, which I'm going to gain power quicker because I'm swinging my sword faster. So anyways, um, yeah, let me know, uh, if there's anything you'd like to see, I'm still learning the game myself. As you see, I've got less than three days played on the game, but have a great one guys. Peace.